Good morning, everyone. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, everyone. To God be the glory. Good morning to each and every one of you all on this beautiful Sunday morning. We thank God for a, another day that he has allowed us to come before you. To God be the glory. We thank God for his grace. And we thank God for his mercy on today. Good morning to each and every one of you all. To God be the glory for everything and all that he has done and is still doing in our life. Amen. Just want to say good morning to each and every one of you all. Hallelujah. So we bless God for his grace. And we bless God for his mercy. Amen. To God be the glory on today. Amen. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hallelujah. Just trying to get some things situated here. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. So once again, we thank God for each and every one of you all. Continue to keep each and every one lifted up in prayer. Uh, prayer is very important, and prayer is very, uh, very, very important. And not just in times and seasons like this, but we ought to be always praying each and every day. Amen. So once again, we bless God for his grace, and we truly thank God for each and every one of you all. Amen. So we give God praise, and we give God glory. Hallelujah is the highest praise. Amen. So blessing once again to each and every one of y'all, and we thank God uh, for y'all joining us on this um, Sunday that we will come together as I, as I look back on my calendar. Uh, to be honest, I think we only have like, uh, what is it, two Sundays uh, left? This is second Sunday? Yeah. And we will be doing today um, Holy Communion together. Amen. Holy Communion. Amen. Holy Communion. So um, if you don't have this, and once again, uh, we want to say good morning to all of you all. Kingdom Empowerment Ministries live, and we bless God for you all, and we thank God for his grace and his mercy. Continue to pray for one another and keep families lifted up throughout this season. Amen. So as we go forth in the word of God on today, and we thank God for his grace, as I said earlier, we will be doing Holy Communion together. If you don't have this, if you don't have this, don't feel like you're left out. Amen. Because you're not left out. Amen. I'm going to say it again. If you don't have this, you can still um, thank God for, our wife, uh, for my wife joining us. She's on also, um, continue to keep her lifted up in prayer, and we thank God, um, continue praying for her family and, um, and everyone else, amen, as well as my family and you all also, amen. So once again, we bless God. Thank you for your grace and your mercy, and um, God bless you. Continue to uplift um, First Lady and continue to uplift her family, amen. Um, in times and season that we all go through, we're going to continue to trust God. Amen. So once again, if you don't have this, amen, um, but before we do this, we're going to do Psalm 91. I'm going to do Psalm 91, then we'll come back and do communion. And after the communion, we'll come together and do the offering. Amen. Lift up the tithe and offering. Amen. So once again, um, I said it again, and I'll say it, uh, let me just say this, because if you don't have this, amen, you can still, still participate, amen. You can go to the refrigerator, not only just the refrigerator, but however, get some juice, um, however, get a piece of bread, and you can still participate in communion with us on today, amen. So once again, we thank God for each and every one of y'all, and we bless God for his grace, and we thank God for his mercy. But for right now, what we are going to do, we're going to go ahead and go into Psalm 91. Psalm 91. 
Song 91. So once again, we bless God for you all and we bless God for the word of God as we go into Psalm 91. And after Psalm 91, we'll come back and do communion together as a family. Amen. Not just uh, you see a family sitting around the table around uh, Thanksgiving or Christmas, but we can also come together to do communion. Amen. On the Lord's Day, amen, not just Sunday, but every day that God's allow us to come together to do what he's called us to do. Once again, we bless God for you all, and um, as we read together, Psalm 91, Psalm 91, amen, let us read Psalm 91 together. It said, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noise and pestilence. He should cover thee with the feathers and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shall I behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation. There shall no evil befall, befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling, for he shall give his angel charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hand, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion, the aller, the young lion, and the dragon shall I trample under feet. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he has known my name. He should call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life would I satisfy him and show him who's him my salvation to God be the glory for all the things that he has done is doing and all the wonderful marvelous thing that he has done hallelujah we thank God for Psalm 91 not only just Psalm 91 but we thank God for all the scriptures we thank God for the canopy of protection that he has over our life it's the word of God that protects us it's the word of God that keeps you and I moving forward amen so we bless God for the word of God, for the people of God, and we thank God for his grace, and we thank God for his mercy on today. Amen. To God be the glory. Once again, we thank God for each and every one of you all, Kingdom Empowerment Ministries, and let me just say this, we bless God for you all, Facebook Live family, um, YouTube channel, we bless God for all of you all. And um, also for the unseen, amen, the unseen, the one that regardless, I mean, you know who you are. You've been a blessing also. And continue to be a blessing that we can continue to go forth and share the gospel, which is the good news of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Because the thing about it, gossip seems to travel everywhere. Gossip seems to travel everywhere. But then the thing about it, we try to keep, we try to put a cap and we try to put a limit on the gospel. Amen. And that's why Jesus says in John 12 and 32, he said, And if I be lifted up from the earth, I will draw all men unto me. So the more we continue to go forth and watch this, spread the gospel. The gospel is supposed to be spread. Amen. Go out. Not only just go out, but we got to get it in before we can take it out. Amen. And how do we get it in? We read the word. We pray the word. We say what God say. Amen. So we, once again, we thank God for you all. And we bless God for each and every one of you all, for the word of God, for the people of God. As we go forth, as I said, if you don't have this, amen, a little bit of juice and um, communion. Amen. We want to, you can still take it with us. Amen. If you have a little bit of juice, just Pull a little bit of juice uh, in, in a glass. Amen. And get a piece of bread. We want you to take this with us on today as we 
um, have communion together. Amen. So we bless God for each and every one of you all. And as we continue to pray for those, as I said, in this season, in this season, as you sit around in the next upcoming week, as you sit around the table having dinner, uh, either before Christmas, just think about, you know, this time last year, there are many that were here that going on to be with the Lord. But still yet, um, continue to pray for those people, pray for those individuals, and lift them up in prayer. Because the thing about it is that here it is, this as well as we live, we know we're going to die. What am I saying is that here it is. But then the thing about it is that here it is, this is where the Lord said some people die with something, from something, or without nothing. But the Lord said, please don't leave this earth without Jesus. Amen. Amen. And what am I saying is that here it is. This is a time of season that we're coming in as Christmas, as we celebrate. It could be some people could look at it as a sad occasion. Some people could look at it as a, a, a joyous occasion. And others could look at it as a, a, a occasion of just feeling lonely and depressed and all that. But we come against any loneliness. We come against any depression because the Bible said, great is he that is in me, that he that is in the world. So regardless of what went on, what's going on, loved one going on to be with the Lord, whether a husband, whether a uh, wife, a father, a sister, a brother, this is where we still trust God at his word. It's the word that's going to get us through. Amen. It's, it's the word that's going to get us through. Amen. Yes, we, uh, we grieve and I understand that. And, and all that's good. And, and the thing about it, watch this. When you think about it, to God be the glory, um, we go through to get to. Amen. We go through to get to. Amen. We don't get over it, but we get through it. And as I said before, we get through it with the word of God. And I pray that you will be able to take communion with us. But before we take it, let me just say this. I want to just read this for the sake of time. Let me just say this, and I'll come back and pray over this as you hold it up wherever you're at, whether you're um, at home, whether you're in a, in a um, room or however, wherever you're at, whether you're on your phone, whether you're on your laptop, computer, it doesn't matter. You can come together and take this with us. It's all about the Lord's Supper, healing and deliverance. Amen. Let me just say this. It said, and after the same manner... Also, he took the cup when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament and my blood. This do ye as often, he said, as often as ye eat it and ye drink it in remembrance of me. Amen. Ye do show the Lord death until he come. Let me just say this, and we thank God. Let me pray over it. Father, we bless you right now, dear God, for every individual, dear God, that you placed before us on today, dear God, we pray upon this Holy Communion, the bread, dear God, and the wine. The bread represents his body that was broken, but none of his bone. Father, we thank you right now for your grace and your mercy, knowing that the wine represents the blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We decree and we declare, dear God, as your people of God, take this with us on today. We thank you for healing. We thank you for blessing. We thank you for deliverance. We thank you most of all for your son, Jesus, as we do it in remembrance of him. Comfort, love, and peace, each and every one. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. As we prepare our hearts and mind to take this together, and we thank God for his grace. We know that the bread, the bread represents the body of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The bread, amen. The wine is symbolic. It represents the blood that was shared for you and I, amen. Jesus paid it all, amen. Jesus paid it all so we can have all, amen. So as we commune together, let us eat and let us drink together.
Thank God for his grace. Thank God for his mercy. And thank God for Holy Communion on today. Amen. As we approach the last one, as uh, we partake it as together for this year, as we transition and move into 2022, we thank God for you all and we thank God for his grace. And truly, we thank God for his son, Jesus. Amen. We thank God for his son. Hallelujah. So we, we thank God and we bless God for Jesus Christ. So as we move next on, we will go. If you have desire. God has blessed you not only throughout the week, has blessed each and every one of us all year long. If you have desire, and this is the part, no, 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 no. We, we, we're, not, we're not begging. We're not asking. But we're giving you that opportunity to be a blessing, to sow a seed. Amen? Because when it all... All, all, when it all said and done, this is the opportunity that we can all come together even with communion and still participating and give God an offering. Amen. Because it's just like the farmer. The farmer goes out and plant his seed in the ground. And the thing about it is that here it is, as the farmer goes out and plant his seed in the ground, he expects or she expects an harvest. But if here it is, it, it rains the sun come out, but if the farmer does not plant his seed in the ground and he goes out after so many days, he goes out in the field looking for the harvest and he haven't planted the seed. Imagine the ground speaking back to, to him saying, you looking for a harvest, but the ground is saying, where's my seed? And God is saying the same thing. We are looking for harvest. Even now, even in the 2022, debt-free, blessing, miracle, jobs, different thing, business. But God said, this, bless me with your seed often and prove me wrong that I will not open up the windows of heaven and pull you out blessing that will overflow. Amen. Malachi said, would a, would a, would a man rob God? He said, yet you have robbed me with tithe and often. But this is the opportunity and there's different ways that you can give to God. There's different ways that you can give to God as far as, you know, the P.O. box and give a fine. Amen. So if you have the uh, opportunity that God has placed that you want to be a blessing, and this is the time that we can all come together as you prepare your hearts and mind. And for the tithe and often, there's one scripture that I want to read before we Bless the tithe and offering. Amen. One scripture. God has given us all that opportunity because the thing about it is that here it is. It's not about you. It's not about me. But it's about what God has already done and what he's doing in the lives of his people. Don't thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. The Holy Spirit has a great sense of humor. The Holy Spirit has a great sense of humor saying, watch this. And, and, and what, he, what he's saying is that here it is, don't hold back on God. Don't hold back on God. And many times people, oh my God, let me, let me just say this. Many times, mm, thank you, Holy Spirit. Many times people hold back on God. And they say, well, what I'm going to do, I'm, I'm going to set this aside. I'm, I'm going shopping for Christmas and I, I'm going to buy this for the kid. I'm going to buy that for the kid. And all that's fine. God wants you to buy it. But please, don't get in debt if you don't have to. Not like that. What I'm saying is, and here it is, when we give to God first, oh my God, he open up the windows of heaven and pour you out blessing that you will not have room enough to store it. Mm, my God. Glory. Hallelujah. This is, this is, I'm telling you, when we give to God first, First, not saying, well, oh, I'm going out to Target. I'm going out to the mall. I'm going out to JCPenney. I'm going out to Walmart. I'm going by this. 
All that is fine. Thank you, Jesus. But give to God first. Amen? When we give to God first, we will always have the abundance. Amen? In living in the abundance of the overflow of the blessing. The bo Thank you, Holy Spirit. The bo Thank Yes, Lord, I hear you. The Bible said, the blessing of the Lord, it maketh rich and addeth, what? No sorrow. Mm. The blessing of the Lord. Oh, my God. What do you mean the blessing of the Lord? Many people, this because you got, you got others that has um, monies and business and this and that. No, 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 no. They can have money and have all kind of business and still be miserable as I don't know what. But, but when you give to God, when you do what's right by God, God will give you peace. Amen. Hallelujah. Let me let me read Luke 6 and 38. Amen. As we move on and as you prepare your heart and mind to give to God. Amen. You're not giving to me. You're giving to God. Amen. Hallelujah. He hold all of us accountable. He charged all of us. We must give to him. Luke 6 and 38. Let me go there. Luke 6 and 38. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Luke 6 and 38. And we, 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 we know this by heart, amen. Luke 6 and 38, where it says give, and it shall be given. But let me just go there, amen. Luke 6 and 38, Luke 6 and 38. It said give. Give what? Whatever you desire in your heart to give to God. It said give, and that same thing you desire to give to God, I pray that it's coming from your heart and not your head. Amen. It said, give and it shall be given unto you. How is it going to be given unto me? I'm glad you asked. The Bible said, good measure. See, no, Pastor Samuel don't measure it. We don't measure it. God measures. God does the measuring. Amen. Mm. Oh, my God. Mm. It reminds me of Amos, the plumb line. God does the measuring. Amen. It said, give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure. How is it going to be measured? It's going to be pressed down. Mm. Woo, my God. Get all the wrinkle out. Amen. Pressed down and shaken together, running over, shall men give unto your bosom. For with the same measure you met with all, it shall be measured to you. What? Again, God does the measuring. Oh, my God. Mm. My Lord. Hallelujah. What am I saying is that here it is. When we give to God, I'm telling you, my sisters and brothers, you can't go without. I'm telling you. Hallelujah. Let us bless the orphan on today. I pray that in there's different ways. Thank you, my wife, First Lady. She's already put it up that you can give. If you if you need to mail it in, give a fire. However, I just got to get this. Oh, my God. I got to get a, mm, yes, like uh, Bishop Wayne Murphy said, I got a seed in the ground. Mm, I got a seed in the ground. Your seed will meet your need. Don't you eat your seed? Oh, my God. It's just like when you're biting on at the core of an apple, and when you get down to the very root of the seed and you bite the seed, is bitter. Don't eat your seed. Glory, hallelujah. Don't take the seed and give it out and say you're going shopping and you're going to this place, J.C. Penny, Belt, Macy's, all that's good. Walmart, all that's good. Target, all that's good. But give God the, your seed first. And he'll multiply it to meet your need. Mm -mm. My God, hallelujah. Let us hold the offering up as, a, as we give reference to you, God. Father, we thank you for everyone, not only just on this live, but Father, some as it being shared there, God, this video, could even some could come back and look at it later. Father, I pray there, God, that there will be an open heart, open heart, open spirit of willingness to give to you. Lord, I pray, dear God, upon this offering that it was taken up. And Father, we thank you. It's not about the building that we are not in. But Father, you've called us as our apostle, late great Nathaniel Holcomb, has taught us to build big people with the word of God. When we build big people with the word of God, God build the building. And Father, we believe in, we receive it for expectations of signs, wonders, and miracle as we move forward.
that you bless each and every one that has their tithe and offering to give to you. Bless them, dear God, that they will receive it back a hundredfold return. Bless it and receive it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank God for his grace and thank God for his mercy. Amen. Let me just drink a little bit of water in my throat. I'm going to get a little dry here, but um, <coughs> to God be the glory. <clears throat> and we thank God for each and every one of you all on today. Amen. So as we move, move on into the word of God, I'm excited about this word that God has. Oh, my God. Mm. I pray that you've shared. You've, you've shared. You tell a friend. Tell a neighbor. Glory. Hallelujah. Not only tell a friend. Tell a neighbor. But I'm telling you. Glory. Hallelujah. I'm excited about this word that God has. You know, not only just deep down burning within my spirit. I'm excited about the word to share with you all. And I pray that the Holy Spirit, yes, Lord, I pray, thank you, Holy Spirit, that you will open the hearts and minds of your people of God, that God, that their spirit will be open to receive what you are saying to each and every one of us. Father, we pray for healing. We pray for deliverance. We pray, dear God, glory, hallelujah. Holy Spirit, have your way, dear God. I am just a messenger bringing the message. And Father, we thank you, dear God. We submit to your will. We submit to your want humbly, dear God professing, confessing the word of God, dear God, that everyone, dear God, that's down and out, Father God, I pray that the word will uplift their spirit, dear God, that they will see you, glory, hallelujah, and have revelation knowledge of your word, healing, deliverance, spiritual, physically, and financially. In Jesus' name we pray, amen, hallelujah, to God be the glory, hallelujah, oh my God, we thank God for you all, and we thank God for the word of God. Hallelujah. Turn with us and turn with me um, to God be the glory. Thank God for his grace and thank God for his mercy. Turn with me in the book according to 1 Samuel chapter 3 verses 1 through 21. Um, I want to read all this because... Um, not only is it saying something, but it's saying something so profound and not only just that, because it's God's word and I want to read all of it, um, for the sake of time. But let me just say this, um, what we're talking about today, because we're coming from first Samuel chapter three, verses one through 21, we are still talking about the title of this is understanding the assignment understanding the assignment um i didn't wrote it down and i think this is part three of this message this is the third part of this message understanding the assignment understanding the assignment amen and the subtitle of this would be the call the call amen the call. Amen. God calls all of us. And we're going to see in these verses right here before I go forth and go further. First Samuel beginning with verse number one. Amen. One through twenty one. This is let me just say this is um, Samuel was called by God. And that's what we're talking about, understanding the assignment. Subtitle is The Call. Amen? The Call. And it reads as verse 1, And the child Samuel ministered unto the Lord before Eli. Eli was a priest. Eli was a priest. Eli had two sons, Hophni and Phinehas. These were elders that Eli had in the church. Amen. Eli was a priest. And the word of the Lord was precious in those days. There was no open vision. Verse 2. And it came to pass at the time when Eli was laid down in his place. And his eyes began to wax dim. 
that he could not see. He could not see. And ere the lamp of God went out in the temple of the Lord, where the ark of God was, and Samuel laid down to sleep. Verse 4. Look at verse 4. That the Lord called Samuel. He didn't call him. Samuel did not call himself. The Bible said, watch this, the Lord called Samuel. And that's what we're talking about, subtitle, the call. Amen. We got the answer to the call that God has called each and every one of us to. Amen. We got an answer. Amen. We can answer everything else. But what about the call, the charge that God has given to us? Amen. Verse 4, it said that the Lord called Samuel and he answered, Here am I. And, and the Bible said, Thank you, Holy Spirit. It said, And he ran unto Eli. He ran unto Eli and said, Here am I, for thou callest me. And he said, I call not. Lie down again. And he went and lay down. And the Lord called yet again Samuel. And Samuel arose and went to Eli and said, Here am I. For thou did call me, and he answered, I call not my son, lie down again. Verse 7. Now Samuel did not yet know the Lord. He didn't know the Lord not yet. Watch as we read this. And this is a powerful, powerful passage of scripture. Now Samuel did not yet know the Lord, neither was the word of the Lord yet revealed unto him. And the Lord called Samuel again the third time, three times. Amen. And he arose and went to Eli and said, Here am I. He got up again and went to Eli. Here am I. Amen. For thou didst call me. He said, You call me. Amen. And Eli perceived that the Lord had called the child. So don't think that because your child, whether it's your son, your daughter, your grand, great-grand is a child, God called them from a youth, amen, from a baby. And he called the child, therefore, verse 9, therefore Eli said unto Samuel, go lie down, and it shall be, if he called thee, now Eli is perceiving, he's recognizing, and he's realizing. Well, I'm not calling him. The Lord is calling him. You might say, I can't sleep. I, I'm, I've been tossing and turning, and I'm, I got this on my mind. I'm going through this. Maybe God is calling you to do something different, something a little more than what you were doing. And this is where we got the answer to the call, but understanding also the assignment that God has assigned to each and every one of us. Amen. Verse 9, Therefore Eli said unto Samuel, Go lie down, and it shall be, if he called thee, that thou shalt say, Speak, Lord, for thy servant heareth. So Samuel went and lie down in his place, and the Lord came and stood. Wow! God said, Okay. <laughs> I ain't playing. I didn't call him three times. I'm coming up. I'm, and he said, Okay. God said, and the Lord came and stood, the presence of the Lord. Oh, my God. God himself, the Holy Spirit. Oh, my God. The presence of God. And the Lord came and stood and called as at other times, Samuel, Samuel. Then Samuel answered, Speak for thy servant here. And the Lord said unto Samuel, Behold, I will do a thing in Israel at which both thy ears of every one that hears it shall tingle. In the day I will perform against Eli the priest, against Eli the priest. He did not constrain, as we know in a little bit about the priest of Eli, he did not did what he needed to do as far as chastisement his sons. But this is God. In the day I will perform against Eli all things which I have spoken concerning his house, which when I begin, I will also make an end. For I have told him, wow, for I have what? I have told him 
that I will judge his house. This is God speaking to little Samuel. Amen. But he's, he's, he's taking in all of this. For I have told him that I will judge his house forever for the iniquity which he knew it. He knew it. Because his sons made themselves vile. The two sons he had, Hophani and Phinehas. And he restrained, I tell you, like it is in the book. He didn't, he didn't, he didn't, oh my God, he didn't take action. Not only take action. Amen. It said, he, he restrained them not. And therefore I have sworn unto the house of Eli that the iniquity, it said that the iniquity of Eli's house shall not be purged with sacrifice nor offering forever. And Samuel lay down until the morning and opened the doors of the house of the Lord. And Samuel feared to show Eli the vision. He was like, wow, he's the priest. But I'm just a little prophet who's sitting under this man. How am I supposed to go tell Eli what all the Lord is saying? Now watch in these verses as I read a little further. Eli going to know that it's the Lord calling. This is this confirmation of what God spoke to Eli, but God uses Samuel, watch this, to share with them what was in, oh my God, that's the prophetic of the prophet. Mm, my God, mm, the prophetic of the prophet. And Samuel lay down until the morning and opened the doors of the house of the Lord, verse 15, and Samuel failed to show Eli the vision. And Eli called Samuel and said, Samuel, my son, he, and he answered, here am I, here am I. And he said, what is this thing that the Lord has said unto thee? I pray thee. He said, I pray that you hide none of this stuff from me. God do so to thee. The, the, um, God do so to thee and more also. If thou hide anything from me in of all things that he said unto me. And Samuel told him every, every. He said he told him every wit and hide nothing from him. And he said, it is the Lord. So in other words, Eli had already knew what God had said to him, but God revealed it, watch this, through to bring to. That was confirmation. And he knew it was God. That's one way you can know when you are thinking something, when you had a dream, when you dealing with something in your spirit and you haven't shared it with no one and someone comes up, oh my God, mm. And bring that word from the Lord to you. That's when you know that, okay, this is confirmation. This is the Lord's doing. Amen. Hallelujah. Verse 19 through 21. Amen. <laughs> it said, and Samuel grew. And Samuel grew. He grew. Amen. He grew and the Lord was with him. Watch this. He grew in God's grace, he grew in the word of God. Oh, my God. He grew in the wisdom of God. He grew in the statues. Watch this before it was the status. Mm. He grew in the wisdom, the knowledge, the statue before it was the status. It wasn't about prestige. It wasn't about big name. But it was about him humbling himself, receiving the word of God, what God had for him. Amen. And Samuel grew, and the Lord was with him. He grew, and God was with him. He didn't grow by himself. He grew in the word for us. Amen? Hallelujah. And Samuel grew, and the Lord was with him, and did not, and did let none of his word fall to the ground. None of his word fall to the ground. And all Israel from then even to Beersheba knew that Samuel was established. He was established. Man did not establish him. God called him. God had the prophetic of the prophet in him. God ordained him. God set him aside. Glory, hallelujah. He just allowed him to get the training and set under Eli, but glory, hallelujah. Eli didn't do what he was supposed to do, but God said, glory, hallelujah. Okay, I, he didn't do it, so I'm going to sit you right here, and I'm going to speak to you, and I'm going to show you what I've already spoken to him. To confirm and knowing that, watch this, God has called him. Amen. Verse 20 and 21. And all Israel from Dan even to Beersheba 
knew that Samuel was established to be a prophet of the Lord, and the Lord appeared again in Shiloh, for the Lord revealed himself to Samuel in Shiloh by the word of the Lord. By the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Oh my God. Mm. I read that because I want to make some um, foundation about this, on this. And as I share this word of God with each and every one of you all on today, because we're talking about understanding the assignment, the call. Eli, let me just say this before I go further. Eli had a specific call on his life. The priest would go, burn incense, amen, offering. Amen. He had a specific call. God knew that someday that he needed to train others. And he had his two sons who were elders, Hophani and, Phena, for, for Hophani and for Nehas, two sons who were elders, two sons who were ministers, watch this, in the house of God. But even though, watch this, they were ministers in the house of God, but watch this, the ministering was not in them. Amen. So here it is, Eli, who was called a priest, one of the high priests, one of the priests, amen. But then here it is, God knew what he had did. Not only that, but God had planned for Samuel, amen. So this is where he was a priest who, watch this, who trained his son, but still yet God said, even though you train your son, but still yet I still have this little one that, I'm going to set unto you for all these years. What am I saying is that we got to watch this, understand the assignment. We all have an assignment from God to do. Amen. So when you think about this, here it is. His mother, Hannah, said, Lord, if you give me this child, I'm just giving you a little, little bit of history. He said, I'm going to bring him and give him back to you. She brought the child and left him with the temple as with the priest, the man of God. Amen. Imagine that. Amen. Hannah. Amen. So what am I saying? Let me just say this. When we're talking about the call, we're talking about the call and understanding the assignment. Understanding the assignment and knowing the assignment and not doing the assignment is two different things. I understand it. I think I know it, but why we're not doing it? Why we're glory, hallelujah. And and see, God calls us to, to live a holy and righteous life before him. Amen. Come on now. I mean, the thing about it, we might say it's hard. The hardest thing to do is not to do the right thing. That's the hardest thing to do. It's not to do the right thing. Amen. Because when it when it all said and done, my life, your life, it's not our own. It belongs to God. Amen. The breath that we breathe each and every day, in and out, belongs to God. Amen. It's not about uh, the business. It's not about the house. It's not about the car. It's not about the money. It's not about none of this stuff. It's about your life belongs to God. The air that we breathe. Come on now. The air that we breathe in and out. Oh, my God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So let me just say this. So when you think about the call, what, what first thing comes to mind when you think about the call? The call is, you know, when, when, when you think about it, it's just, Specifically defined as to speak a to speak in a loud voice to announce that's all it is to speak in a loud voice to announce and that's exactly what God did to him stood at the door amen that's that's what he did he 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 made himself known to Samuel. So let me just say this. 
in these verses, one that I read from 1 through 21. In verses, let me say this, in verses 1 through 9, that was the call from God. The three parts in these scriptures, three part in these scriptures that I want to clarify. Three parts, because we're talking about the call. Amen. In verses 1 through 9 was the call from God. In verses 10 through 18, we see God's message that he's given to Samuel. Amen. In verses 19 through 21, the Lord's prophet, Samuel. Amen. He's Come on now. This is where verses 1 through 9 was the call from God. Amen. Verses 1 through 9 was the call from God. Verses 10 through 18 was God's message to Samuel. In 19, 20, and 21, the Lord has established him to be that prophet to go forth and tell the people about God and about the word of God. So what am I saying here? It's not what am I saying, it's what is God saying to each and every one of us. Because here it is, we can we, we listen to the we can listen to the word of God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Thank God for Jesus. Amen. Oh my God. I get give Jesus a praise on today. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Thank God for Jesus. So here it is. <clears throat> what am I saying? Is that here it is, we can Listen to the word, whether it's on our phone, whether it's on TV, uh, whether it's on the radio, but we have to be so open and be in tune to listen to that specific call from God. Not from man, but from God. Amen? Specific call from God. Because we, we all have an assignment. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Eli had a specific assignment from God. He knew what he was supposed to do. He knew what he wasn't supposed to do. He had a specific assignment from God. And the same thing with you and I. God has called all of us to live a holy and righteous life from God. Amen? So when you think about this, God calls Samuel... Three times, not once, not twice, three times, and Eli did not recognize it. Because, thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, my God. Mm. Thank you, Holy Spirit. See, and I'm not saying that was the case, but I can tell you this. This is where sometimes we put so much in and on the world, we get bombarded with everyday cares and everyday things of this world. We don't give attentive and attention and time to the word of God. How, how are we going to realize and recognize that it is God calling us, it is God saying this, it is God that what he wants to do, and how do we do it? This is where we have to spend more time with God, reading the word, praying, and believing the word, because we can't expect, oh my God, here it is, we can spend 90% doing this and doing that in the world, but here it is, only, we only give God 10%. And I love how God does it when it comes to finance. God said, you keep the 90, just give me 10. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And, and it's the same thing, the opposite. God wants us to give him, oh, my God. When, it, when you think about it, the more you put in this word, the more the word is going to come out of you. If you don't put it in, oh my God, if, oh my, how do you expect for it to come out? And that's why he said, great is he that is in me, that he that is in the world. Amen. Mm. 
What am I saying is that here it is. Timing is everything when it comes to hearing and perceiving that God is calling you to do something. Watch this different. Timing is everything. Timing. Hearing the voice of God. Doing what God is calling you to do. And I know, thank you Holy Spirit. Let me just pause just for a moment before I go any further. And I know a lot of us are saying right now, and not only right now, you're saying, oh my God, I've been on, I've been doing this job, I've been, I've, I've been at this place, I've been in this house, I've been in this city, I've been doing this, I've been doing that. God, God, when, 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 God, show me, give me, give me a sign, give me a dream, God, you just give me something, Lord, no, let me know that is you, but you see how when God came to the prophet Samuel and spoke to him and tell him exactly everything that he was going to do as far as Eli, watch this, oh my God, Eli, watch this, he confirmed it and knew that, okay, this is the Lord saying this, amen, that's how you know when God is telling you to do, oh my God, do something different, oh, thank you, Holy Spirit, thank you for the word of God, amen, it's always confirmation of what God has already spoken to you, he always brings confirmation, amen, hallelujah, oh my, God. and that's why we have to be open, not just the ears, but open with the spirit man, Oh my God, we should know when something is right. We should know when something is wrong. We should know when something is good. We should know when something is bad. You should know when it's for you and when it's not for you. Amen. But it's the word. It's the word that keeps us going. It's the word. Oh my, that living word, that living water. It's the word. Oh my God. Like David said, thy word have I hid in thy heart that I might not sin against you, Lord. Mm, my God, hallelujah. It's the word that keeps us on track. Everything else, it's the word that keeps us going. It's the word that keeps us focused, amen? Everything else. And that's why he said, oh my God. He said, heaven and earth will pass away. But my word mm -mm, will always be the same. Hallelujah, oh my God. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. Let me just <clears throat> thank God for each and every one of you all. Oh, my God. Mm. This is a blessed day. This is a blessed day. Let me let me just say this. God called him. God called Samuel. God called him. He didn't call himself. Oh, my God. Mm. And that's why the Bible said many are called, but only few are chosen. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. God don't call the equip. He equipped the calling that's already on your life. God don't call the equip, but he equipped the calling that's already on your life. You might say, well, I got it together. I can do this and I can do that. And, and I, I think I can do this. And God said, you know what? I can't use that I, I, I. Humble yourself and said under the hand of the almighty God and do season. He will exalt you. Samuel humble himself and God exalted him. Oh my God. Mm. God called him to do a specific assignment, which Eli, who was a priest, did not do what he was instructed and charged to do concerning his sons. Amen. Oh, my God. Mm. God called him. So let me just say this. When instruction is given, when instruction is given, we must carry it out with a passion and pursuing it. Amen. With a passion and pursuing those instruction, what God has already given to us. It's called decision, determined destiny your decision determines your destiny that's what it is decisions determine destiny it's the decision that you make gonna determine your destiny decisions determine destiny amen and god give all of us a willing heart a willing mind amen 
One thing about God, one thing about the Holy Spirit, glory, hallelujah, he's, he's not going to make none of us do nothing, amen? And that's what I love him about, and he's a gentleman. He, I mean, he, and the thing about it is that here it is, he, he, he don't, watch this, the Bible said no one comes to God unless the Holy Spirit draws them. You might say, where is the Holy Spirit? The Holy Spirit is always in operational 24-7. Amen. God speaks. He used different, he used people to draw people to him. He, thank you, Holy Spirit. He used people not to draw people to people, but to draw people to the God that's in the person. Amen. And that's why Apostle Paul said, follow me as I follow Christ. That's what, that's what he said. And that's what the scripture said. Here it is. If they're not following Christ, then why are you following them? How are you going to continue to know the difference between right and wrong? And that's why he said, follow me as I follow Christ. Amen. I'm not no, no, no. No one is perfect. That's not what I'm saying. Thank you, Holy Spirit. No one is perfect. What I'm saying is that here it is, because there's only one. Jesus, he sits high and he looks low. He sits on the right hand of the Father, making intercession. He's interceding for us. Amen. Glory, hallelujah. As you pray, glory, hallelujah. Oh, my God. You got angels dispatched around you each and every day. Gabriel, Michael, oh, my God. Archangel, blessed angel, oh, my God. Glory, hallelujah. Oh, you got them all around you. You got to call them. Glory, hallelujah. And that's why the Bible said we got to call those things which be not as though they are. Oh, my God. Thank God for Jesus. Oh, my God. You got to call it. You got to say it. You got to speak it. Amen. Hallelujah. <clears throat> we got to call those things which be they are. Call those things which be not as they are. You got to call it. We're talking about understanding the assignment. As I said earlier, it's the call. And a lot of times um, in going out of 2021, we're saying, okay, God, what is my next assignment in 2022? Okay, God, what, you know, as we transition from one year to the next, a lot of times it's not about the calendar year. Oh, my God. Mm. It's not about, a lot of times we, we get caught up on the calendar year, but I love what, oh my God, mm, Hebrews 11 and 1 said, now faith is. When God said now, now mean now. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, but the evidence of things not seen. Come on now, we don't need to see it. As long as the Holy Spirit is speaking it, that's only, oh my, that's confirmation. Oh, my God, I pray, oh, my God, that's, that this word is bringing clarity and is bringing some confirmation to each and every one of you all. Oh, my God, and I thank God for the word of God, for the people of God. Amen. Hallelujah. We give God praise. Mm. So let me just say this because this is where... In 2022, yes, I'll mention 2022, we got work to do. Yes, 2022. Not only in 2022, but we got work to do every day. And that's why the Bible said, work while it's day. When night come, no man should have to work. Not just like daylight or the nighttime. Mean, meaning the Holy Spirit is saying, while you have time, while you have time, because time wait on no one, while you have the God golden opportunity to put in time to read your word, to receive this word, while you are in your right mind, while you are here still, you got time to, oh my God, to stay focused and stay in the word, meaning that while, while work while it's day, meaning that you got your health, you got your strength, you're still moving, you're breathing, you're still doing this. We're doing everything else, but we, we got to realize we got to give more attention and more 
I'm telling you, more attention to the word of God. Amen. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice in what? And be glad in it. So this is where, as I said earlier, decision determines destiny. Decision determines destiny. Amen. Decisions. God give all of us the willingness, heart, and mind to make our own decision as we get older. Amen. We understand here it is. God said, you know what, Eli? This is Samuel. I'm, I'm going to set him up under you. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. And God himself came and stood and called him after three times. Amen. And he said, speak, Lord. Amen. Thy servant here. Glory. Hallelujah. Speak, Lord. We hear you, Lord, as we shift out of 21 and go into 22. Speak, Lord. Glory. Hallelujah. And thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, my God. And ministry, ministry, not only ministry, but things that we've been doing cannot be the same. Oh, my God. It's the power of God. It's the Holy Ghost moving in the lives of the people of God. I'm telling you, oh, my God, power of God, the Holy Spirit, it cannot be the same. I'm telling you, God is calling us to do what he's calling us to do. Oh, my God. It's because we're talking about understanding the assignment. You got to understand that assignment from God. Amen. And, and it makes me think, and I'm not saying when you think about it, did Eli really understand the, understood the assignment? He was a priest. But God said, still yet, God always keep a ram in the bush. He said, I'm going to take little young Samuel and, and let him groom right up under you. Oh, my God. Glory. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. Mm. But it was timing. It was timing. He didn't, go, he didn't got ahead of God. He waited. Oh, my God. It was timing. With God, it's always timing with God. Amen? It's always timing with God. Let me just say, <coughs> Samuel sat under Eli the priest, but he had to accept the call from God. Even though he sat under, he didn't went before, he didn't went ahead, but he sat under, and he still waited to, for God to speak. Amen? Samuel sat under Eli the priest, but he had to accept the call from God and not man. Amen? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Glory. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. What am I saying is that here it is. We're talking about understanding the assignment. Understanding the assignment is just a, a specific task, a, a work that God has assigned to all of us to do. The hands must do what the hands is supposed to do. The eyes, the air, the mouth, we all are, watch this, being a part of God's body, the body of Christ coming together. Glory, hallelujah. As I said before, we're not building big building. We're building big people. As we build big people, God build the building. Mm. My God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I'm telling you, it's all God. God said, you build the people. With the word of God. As we build the people with the word of God. God said you build the people. Don't worry about it. You build the people sharing, teaching, preaching. The word of God. Living the word of God. Speaking the word of God. And watch what I do. As you build the people with the word of God. I got somebody else building the building. Mm. Oh my God. It's for you. It's already done. It's already done. Shut aside. <clears throat> Thank you, Holy Spirit. It's already done. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. And that's what we are to do. Because the Bible said, iron, sharpen iron. Amen? Iron, sharpen iron. Oh, my God. Glory. Hallelujah. Because it's, it's the word. It's the word that we need. Amen? It's the word that we need. Let me just say this. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. To God be the glory for all of y'all. Hallelujah. The call is not this call. Amen. That call that God called Samuel. This call is not your ordinary everyday phone call 
that we talk with other people on a daily basis. When God calls, when God calls, we must obey and listen. Obey and listen so we can carry out our assignment because in Isaiah 1 and 17, it said, learn to do well. How do I learn to do well? I got to obey and listen to God. And then 1 and 19, it said, as you be willing and obedient, you will do what? You will eat the good of the land. As I said earlier, the call is not your ordinary, ordinary, simple, everyday call or phone call or even text message. <laughs> oh, my God. Glory. Hallelujah. Instagram message. It's not your everyday messenger on message. It's not your everyday phone call message. Amen. It's not your everyday Facebook message. Amen. But when God calls, when God calls, we must list, we must obey and listen so we can carry out the assignment, so we can carry out the assignment. It's called submission, number one. It's called commission, number two. And it's called the mission. Mm, my God, let me just say this. So we can carry out these three things. It's, number one, it's called submission. You got to submit. It says submit yourself under the hand of the Almighty God. See, Samuel submitted himself under the hand of the Almighty God who was in the priest of Eli. But God said, you know what? I got I, this assignment I got for you, Samuel. Mm, my God. I need you to carry it out. Submission, commission, and then we can understand the mission. Amen. It's all in the assignment from God. Oh, my God. Glory. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. Mm, I thank God for his grace, and I thank God for his mercy. Oh, my God. We got to submit, submit, submit. Don't quit. Commission. The great commission. Jesus tells his disciples, he, he give us that great commission. Go ye therefore and what? Make disciple. Amen. Before we make disciple, we got to be a disciple ourselves. Oh, my God. Mm. And then the mission to carry it out, to see people saved, to see people get delivered, to see people live a, watch this, watch this, not just a joyous life, not just a joyful life, but a glorious life that is pleasing to God, not man. Oh my God. Because when we when when we when we when we understand the submission, when we understand the commission, then God can give us watch this, it's the mission that He has us on. It's all of it is in the assign assignment from God. Samuel had a specific assignment. And, 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 and I love what the last verse said. Oh, my God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And God loved all of us. Not only did he give Samuel one book, he gave him two books. First Samuel, second Samuel, but we in first Samuel. And it says in verse, watch this. It said, verse 19, 3 and 19. It said, and Samuel grew. He grew. You can grow also as you, oh my God, as you submit your emotion, your wills, your want, your desire. As Psalm 37 and 4 said, if you, come on, you delight yourself in the Lord. And Samuel grew and the Lord watched this. As he grew, God was with him. As you are growing, Thank you, Holy Spirit. You can't go before you grow. Mm, my God. Many times we want to go, but God needs you to grow first. You just don't send out. Thank you, Holy You just don't send out just because. I, oh, my God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Let me just say this. Because your 
son or your daughter turned 15 or 16 and they said, Daddy, I want to go get my driver's permit. I want to go get my license. And all of a sudden, they go and get their license. This because they turned 15 or 16. You just not going to put all that on them and say, well, here, this is the car. You go drive this and you go drive that. What am I saying is that here it is. We got to grow before we can go. We got to learn how to submit to God and watch this listen and not only just listen, but obey. And oh my God, thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes, not only listen and not only obey, but watch this. We got to submit to God so we can know how to do things when the time is right. Amen. This because he or she 15 or 16, we're not going to just turn them loose and let them go. Running rapid. Oh, my God. Oh, yes, Lord, I hear you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes. Yes, God. Yes, Holy Spirit, I hear you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. It's just, oh, my God. It's just like ministry. Oh, my God. Yes, Lord. Mm, pastors. Oh, the fivefold ministry. Oh, yes, Lord, I hear you. Prophetic speaking. Thank you, Lord. God said that's why we have so many mishap and miscarriage in ministry. Premature, too quick, too early. Mm, too quick, too fast. Oh, my God. Mm. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We got to sit and wait. Oh, my God. We got to sit and wait. Regardless. Oh, my God. Um, because the Bible said promotion don't come from the east, north, south, or west. It comes from God. God put one up. He bring one down. Eli was coming down. Sammy was going up. Oh, my God. Mm. See, it's all about revelation. It's all, oh my God. Thank God for the word of God, for the people of God. Amen. So what am I saying is that here it is. God does everything great and beautiful in his timing. Amen. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Oh my God. I, I, I thank God for you all and I thank God for the word of God. I'm telling you, it, this word is, and, and this is where... We, we, we must understand our assignment in this season, my sisters and brothers. I'm telling you, what, what am I saying? And I and thank you, Holy Spirit. I'm hearing a lot of people saying, what is my new next? What is my next assignment? What is my next assignment? God will show you. And as he show you, he will bring someone to you and to confirm what he has already spoken to you. The same way he did Eli. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. Eli perceived. He knew it was God because God had already spoken some things to him. But he confirmed it through the man of God, through the prophet Samuel. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. Mm, my God. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. It said, and, 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 and. Samuel grew and the Lord was with them. He grew and God was with them. He didn't go before God. He waited. He grew and the Lord was with them. And, the, and what? And God, every word that he spoke. Mm, that's powerful, people. Every word. It said, and did not let none of his word fall to the ground. What do you mean fall to the ground? Every time, every, every word he spoke, it manifests. You know why it manifests? Because he sit and waited and he allowed things to be marinated in him. Mm. Oh, my God. Glory. Hallelujah. It's called, oh, my God. We got to let it marinate. It's called submission, commission, and then we can go on the mission for the Lord. Amen. Oh, I'm on the battlefield. I'm on the mission field. You haven't even got the commission. We haven't even sit and submit to God. Glory. Hallelujah. And oh my God, and see, it, 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 he said it grew. And the Lord, what? Was with them, and none of his word fell to the ground. What am I saying is that every, everything God allows Samuel to do and speak, it manifests itself. Why? Because he obeyed and he listened to what God's instruction was. As I said earlier, and I'm closing on this. Thank you, Holy Spirit. As I said early, in verse 1 through 9 was the call from God, God calling. You might feel, say, okay, God, you've been calling me. You've been saying this. And I pray that this word has already brought clarity. 
I pray that this word has already bring, oh my God, understanding and enlighten what God is calling each and every one of us to do. 1 through 9 was the call from God. 10 through 18 was God's message to Samuel saying what he's going to do. What he's already spoken to the priest, Eli. And verse 19 through 21 was God has established Samuel to be a prophet. It said all new, even from Bathsheba unto Dan. God, oh, what are you saying? God, oh my God. When thank you. When God watch this. When God's hand is on you, the Holy Spirit is working within you so it can come out of you. When God's hand is on you, the Holy Spirit is working within you so it can come out of you. Amen? Oh, my God. Mm. I thank God for his grace, and I thank God for his mercy. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. For everything and all the things he have done, and I'm telling you, this word here, I'm not only this word, and that that's why, oh, my God. And I thank God. It's the word. That manifests. It's the word that we should live by. Amen. It's the word. Watch this. Everything we need, everything your heart desire, was is healing, salvation, blessing, finance, a job. Everything is in the book. We just got to we just got to trust his word. It might not manifest when you want it to. It might not come to pass when you want it to. But I'm telling you, glory, hallelujah. Mm. Everything is done in decency and in order and in God's timing. Don't give up on God. Don't give up hope. Keep hope alive in Jesus Christ. As the Bible says in Hebrew, it, we are to be anchored. Anchored with the word of God. Anchored in the word of God. Anchored in Jesus Christ. Anchored. 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 Don't. Oh my God. Don't work. Don't be. Mm, to and fro. From sound rock doctrine. Over here. Over there. Stay planted. Stay rooted. Amen. Oh my God. So we bless God. Hallelujah. And we thank God for his grace. And <clears throat> we thank God for the word of God, for the people of God on today. I'm telling you, I'm excited. Oh, my God. And I thank God as we um, approaching, like I said, going out into December as we look forward for the great things that he has done and is doing and the thing that is to come. And I'm telling you, I'm excited. Why am I excited? Because as long as I got Jesus, everything is going to be all right. Oh, my God. Mm, why am I excited? Because I love the Lord like that and some more, and I won't take it back. Oh, and I love his people. Amen. I love the people of God. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To God be the glory for the great things that he has done, is doing, and is to come in 2022. Oh, my God. We got to keep moving. Keep going forward. And don't give up on God. Keep moving. Keep going forward. Keep moving. Glory. Hallelujah. Keep Trust in God. I'm telling you. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank God for Jesus. Understanding the assignment, the call, and we got to an answer. Amen. All of us, we got to an answer. Amen. Jesus said, I came to seek and to save that which was lost. And we are lost without him amen we are lost without jesus christ amen so at this time we want to give you that opportunity not only just to hear the word because the word is hebrews talks about the word being a two-edged sword hebrews 4 and 12 it cuts that's what the word does the word is a incision the word is, is as i speak one word oh my god the holy spirit is doing the other amen the word that's the two-edged sword the holy spirit amen hallelujah it's, it's, it's the word is an incision it cuts 
Now God is saying, are you ready to make that decision? Are you ready to accept Jesus for those that don't know Jesus? Those that have not received Jesus as Lord. Have not received him as Lord of all, in all, through all. Because, watch this. This ain't no halfway house. God wanted it all. He want all of you. Amen. This is the day you can receive salvation. Only thing you have to do is just open up and say, Hey, my Lord. Give God that opportunity to just come right in. Revelation 3 and 20, he said, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice, he said, I will come in. I will sup with you. Amen. Let him in. Open up. Let him in. Hallelujah. I pray for that for families all across the world as we enter into this Christmas season. I pray that, Father, in the name of Jesus, that families that don't have, that they will have to give to you first, their God, before they go out and do anything else. I pray for individuals that don't know you. Even in this season as we celebrate our Lord and Savior, the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Father, I pray that they will receive salvation as of this day. That they will open up and allow you to come in. I pray, dear God, for healing. I pray, dear God, that they will want to be set free from anything that's hindering, anything that's holding them back from worshiping and praising you. Father, I pray that they will just open up and say, Lord, what must I do to be saved? And I'm glad you asked. The Bible says in Romans 10 and 9, if you confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus that God raised him from the dead, and believe within your heart, you shall be saved, my daughter. You shall be saved, my son. You shall be saved. God is always into saving soul business every day. Father, we thank you. And Father, we bless you on this day. Father, we give you praise. Father, we give you honor. This is the day that the Lord has. And we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Once again, we thank God for you all. Um, no after church today. Pray, hopefully, we'll be back to after church before the year is out. Amen. Um, to God be the glory. We thank God for his grace, and we thank God for his mercy. We give God all the praise and all the honor and all the glory. I pray that you will have a blessed day, and I pray that this word has already blessed. It blessed my soul. I, I pray that it bless your soul, that you can share this video and that it can be a blessing to someone else. Amen. So we thank God for his grace and we thank God for his mercy on today. And I'm telling you, we love you all. We love you all. We are praying each and every day for your, your health, your healing, salvation, deliverance, freedom. Oh, my God. Spiritually, physically, and financially. I pray, Kingdom Empowerment Ministry, we love you all. Facebook Live, Extended Family, we love you all. YouTube, we love you all with the love of Jesus Christ. Much love. We love you even the more. And we thank God for you all. We thank God for your grace, for his grace and his mercy. We thank God that God has placed us together. Amen. We thank God for that. Hallelujah. We give God praise and we give God glory. Much love to y'all as you enjoy the rest of your day. Um, the Lord should tarry his coming. We'll see you back at Wednesday for midweek empowerment service. Prayfully, hopefully, First Lady will be with me on then. To God be the glory. I might just give her the mic and say, hey, no, I'm just messing with you. <laughs> She's okay. Let's keep her lifted up and pray to God be the glory. But uh, there's some word in her. Yes, there's some word that need to come out, but it's going to be in God's timing. Amen. It's going to be in God's timing. Amen. So we thank God. When that time come, I'm going to back up and say, drive, drive. Hallelujah. So we thank God for you all, and we love you all with the love of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Continue to be a blessing to one another, and we thank God and remember, Understanding the assignment is the call. God call you to live a holy and righteous life. Amen. We can't, some of us, we got to realize and recognize we can't do what everybody else is doing. Amen. Hallelujah. So blessing to y'all. Much love. 
and enjoy your day in the Lord. And we love you. And we see you again um, Wednesday at 7 p.m. I lost my train of thought just for a moment. To God be the glory. Help me, Lord. Yes, thank God for his grace and his mercy. Um, and enjoy the rest of your day. Continue to uh, enjoy Jesus. Amen. Love y'all.